Okay, so um, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everyone around the world. Um, today, our session will be focused on uh, a new strategy or a new approach in terms of uh, using it to be able to uh, help get on board, uh, uh, help most new developers to be get uh, get onboarded onto the Wikimedia Technical Community session as a whole. Um, my name is Jaris Darlington Kwashi, and um, I am the community lead for the African Wikimedia Technical Community. So uh, I'll be taking you through this um, session, which wouldn't last long. Um, although we are starting a bit late, so I'm just going to try my best for us to be able to also complete this session on time. So first of all, we would like to get to know what is onboarding. So what onboarding is basically uh, a process of integrating new developers into a community or an organization in order to be able to also help this organization to uh, collaborate with new people and help them to be able to resolve uh, certain issues or taxes that needs technical attention within the uh, community organization or institution. Okay, so the importance of um, onboarding new um, developers or the reason why we need to be able to onboard new developers is uh, to be able to uh, help them be like a valuable asset by their team and also be able to also help them to reach their full potential. Also onboarding, new, uh, onboarding the, this uh, onboarding process is a good process that can be able to also help developers to be able to uh, speed up in terms of the learning process or uh, having the knowledge and uh, required information in order to be able to also um, help them in terms of uh, having the knowledge of the organization and how they can be able to bring new ideas and share new ideas and uh, help them to be able to automate certain taxes within the organization that becomes a bit difficult for the organization or the uh, uh, institution to be able to progress. Now, um, during the process of onboarding, sometimes it's quite challenging, it's quite exhausti uh, exhaustive, and um, there are a whole lot of issues that do go through the process of onboarding new developers. But however, um, if there is a good strategy that has been implemented that makes it much more easier to also onboard people onto the R session or onto the sorry into the R organization at large. Okay. Um, sometimes it becomes very difficult due to timing that is also needed in order to be able to also onboard new developers. Aside that to uh, sometimes then information or support that is currently needed. Uh, for these new developers or new technical contributors to be able to go through them and know how best to uh, contribute to the organization or institution becomes a bit difficult. And at times it becomes very difficult for them to be able to have uh, the general knowledge, have the better understanding of how the organization operates. And I believe that if these kind of information are much more uh, open to them, it makes it much more easier for them to be uh, onboarded onto such uh, institutions, organizations, and help these initiatives grow at large. So what is Wikicafe? Wikicafe is basically an approach that we've implemented in order to be able to also help new developers and come out with, with principles to support community collaboration and learning as well. Then. Um, with this space, it wouldn't be much more like an, a conference or a workshop, but uh, it would be much more of like a, a community or a social event whereby uh, experienced developers get to meet the new developers, interact with them, try to find out the um, problems or situations that they do encounter through their journey, then provide some form of guidance, assistance, and uh, advice to them to be able to also help them uh, learn from the RPS and learn and get uh, much more involved within the projects that the uh, organization or Wikimedia Foundation normally do uh, work on or collaborate on. So one of the benefits of um, Wikicafe is to increase uh, productivity. Uh, since most new developers normally do find it a bit difficult to be able to also contribute to um, the Wikimedia technical infrastructure with the Wikimedia technical space, when this uh, Wikicafe initiative has been developed or initiated, I do feel that uh, 
It will increase uh, productivity in a sense that it will make it much more easier than helping uh, people who are searching for um, uh, people who are uh, looking for uh, much more information or better understanding of how to contribute to uh, events at large will know how best to be able to uh, contribute to these uh, projects at large without struggling or going through the necessary issues that uh, experienced developers did go through before uh, learning from their mistakes in order to avoid them. And uh, it also helps to uh, to also help us to be able to reduce and uh, improve intention. Then uh, in terms of team culture too, it will strengthen the team culture in a sense that we will definitely be able to have diverse uh, contributors within the technical space from different, uh, uh, different ethnicities and groups around the world, which will make it much more easier and much more open and diverse as well. And uh, it will also get developers um, uh, and more, much more engaged uh, in a sense that there will be much more collaborative and uh, um, much more effectiveness within the community, the technical community at large. So how to set up a wiki cafe? That's uh, one of the initiatives that I'm trying to come up with. And um, with a wiki cafe, uh, before you set up a wiki cafe, you definitely need to find a dedicated space, an open area. Right, that makes it much more easier and much more welcoming for contributors who are new within the technical space to uh, feel free and express yourself and know how best to be able to collaborate with others. Uh, it should be a welcoming environment, as I said earlier, and as it should also encourage uh, participation from um, new contributors who do seek the ways and means in order to be able to contribute to the Wikimedia technical space whilst they do have the skill. Right. And uh, also try to promote Wiki Cafe to new developers, then know how best to uh, be able to also onboard them within these organizations or uh, Wikimedia athletes and communities in order to be able to also support them and help them eradicate their issues without waiting for the foundation to be able to resolve such issues. Okay. So when running, a successful wiki cafe in order to be able to measure your metrics in order to be able to know how successful the event or how successful the program went first you have to be well prepared and uh, prepared in a sense that you have to have the right documentation um, from the certain uh, management aspect to the whole uh, the room management aspect to how to be able to coordinate the events and also how to make sure that um, most of the problems that uh, will be expected within the community or will be expected within the events can be uh, uh, solutions will be much more available to be able to eradicate such uh, issues at large then uh, it should also be open to uh, feedback um, in terms of having a feedback form or a feedback platform whereby people can be able to also share their feedback and um, help you to be able to also prepare and improve upon your Wiki Cafe initiatives as large. And uh, as a leader of uh, Wiki Cafe, too, you should be open to learning new ideas and uh, new initiatives from people and uh, learning how to be able to also incorporate their suggestions or feedbacks into uh, your future events or your future uh, projects at large. So um, with the FAQ, if there are any questions online, um, I think you can be able to also feel free and ask your questions online. If there aren't any questions too, we can be able to also move on. Okay. So, um, with my questions that I, all, I already do have, is uh, what if I don't have the time to be able to set up a wiki cafe? What can you be able to do? Uh, that's why there is a team. There, if you do have a team, it makes it much more easier, even if you are not around. Um, your team can be able to also help you to be able to set up a wiki cafe. And uh, what if my team is much more remote? Yes, organizing a remote session or a remote uh, uh, events. Not all events are much more in person. Sometimes organizing a, a remote event makes it much more easier for people who do come from uh, 
long distances can be able to also join these kind of sessions, then take one or two um, educative uh, feedbacks, or let me say, uh, learn a lot from uh, these kind of remote sessions at large. And uh, what if my team too is new to open source? Right. As once it's open to uh, it's new to open source, it makes it much more easier in a sense that you also being able to also train people from uh, diverse background makes it easier in terms of you starting from the bottom and growing up with them, and uh, it makes it easier for you to be able to also retain them within the community. Okay. So with the breakout session, what we were supposed to basically do is to be able to also discuss how Wiki Cafe can be used in your teams, write solutions on a Google Jamboard, then select one lead to present your solution. Okay. Okay. So once the breakout section taxes is done, then we can be able to also uh, share that with me via email, then we will know how best to be able to uh, improve upon our sessions. Thank you.